we finally have some interesting news regarding 7 Days to Die Alpha 21. Yesterday, the Fun Pimps updated the Alpha 21 dev diary with a juicy bit of interesting news. So let's just jump in, shall we? The piece of news I want to talk about today is the new Learn by Looting system. According to the post, there will be 23 new crafting skills added to a new tab on the progression screen. Notice that I said skills and not perks. That's right, the 1 to 100 leveling system has returned in part to try and fix the crafting system in 7 Days to Die Alpha 21. As it says here, crafting will no longer be governed by perks whatsoever. So for example, Miner 69er will no longer unlock iron tools or increase the level of tools you craft. From this point forward, it will only increase your block damage. Crafting harvesting tools would now fall to one of the 23 new skills. Presumably the one called Harvesting Tools. But some of you more long time players may be a little bit confused. Didn't this system already exist way back before Alpha 17 and wasn't it horribly abused? Yes, it was. Because back in the day, we'd craft a million stone shovels just to make sure our crafting skill was high enough and then craft max level iron and steel tools as we wished. It was an exploit that the fun pimps hated so much they reworked progression entirely. Well you might be wondering, how do they intend to stop it this time? Well I'd like to remind you this is called the learn by looting system. According to the post, there will be 23 new magazines added to the loot table, each of which will correspond to one of the 23 crafting skills. If you read the harvesting magazine, your harvesting tools crafting skill will increase by one point meaning you're going to have to find up to 99 of each magazine to level up your crafting skill. Now it's worth noting that not all the skills are actually 1 to 100. A few are 1 to 50 and a few are 1 to 75 and one of them is even maxed out at level 20. If you want to do everything in one playthrough that is going to be a lot of reading. Honestly I like this, it means we can't abuse it the same way we did back in the older alphas and whether this change is going to be welcomed or rejected by the players, it is important that you guys know that the just level it by crafting things idea was tested years ago and it went very poorly. So respect to the fun pimps for hearing that we liked crafting skills and we liked the 1 to 100 crafting skills, but also knowing that they couldn't just inject it back into the game as it once was all those years ago because it just didn't work. Instead, they came up with an interesting solution. This post also clarifies that schematics in general will no longer exist, with a few exceptions. So you won't be able to just find the auto shotgun schematic, you'll now need to reach level 60 in shotgun crafting to even craft a level 1. It also clarifies that mod schematics will still exist, so laser sights, scopes and all that jazz will still have schematics and are not incorporated into this system, which I honestly think is a missed opportunity to make mod crafting more controllable by incorporating the mods into their own melee mods, gun mods, armor mods and vehicle mod skills. I'm just saying, if this is what you're going for, why not go all the way, right? Now the post says that skill increases unlock recipes at certain points, as well as increase the quality of crafted items which have quality, with each tech level being a separate range in the skill spectrum, meaning that being able to craft a level 5 stone shovel will not allow you to craft a level 5 auger. These are now separated by the 1 to 100 skill spectrum. I had a bit of a hard time getting my head around how exactly this is supposed to work. The two images given and the post were a little bit vague. I can speculate on how this is going to work. And my idea does seem to work here, so hear me out. So as I understand it, at level 1 shotgun crafting, you'll be able to craft a level 1 pipe shotgun. And then at level 3, you'll be able to craft a level 2 pipe shotgun. And then the next quality level would update to something else at that point, but we can't tell from this static image alone. But what we can see is at level 11 shotgun crafting, you'll be able to craft a level 1 double barrel shotgun. I would then also guess that at level 11 you would also unlock level 3 pipe shotguns, then after level 11 at some point, let's just say 19, you'll unlock level 2 double barrel shotguns and level 4 pipe shotguns. Then at level 27, it's at that stage I believe you would unlock the level 5 pipe shotgun, level 3 double barrel shotguns, and as the image shows, level 1 pump actions. Then at some point, let's just call it 39, you'd unlock level 4 double barrel shotguns and level 2 pump action shotguns. And then at level 60, you would unlock the level 5 double barrel shotguns, the level 3 pump action shotguns, and the level 1 auto shotguns. 
Then from there, at level 70, you'd get level 4 pump action shotguns and level 2 auto shotguns. At level 80, you would get level 5 pump action shotguns and level 3 auto shotguns. At level 90, you'd get level 4 auto shotguns. And then finally, at level 100, you'd be able to craft a level 5 auto shotgun. The word shotgun and level have no meaning to me anymore. I apologise if my delivery sounded strange because it sounded strange to me as well. This is all assuming that we won't be able to craft level 6 gear. The post doesn't say that that is changing in any way, so that is what I'm going with. So what you'll see with my assumption is that basically, as a new weapon is unlocked at a low quality, a weaker weapon is upgraded to decent quality, and an even weaker weapon will reach its peak or possibly even be made obsolete. So under this assumption, which again, is entirely speculative based off of these two images, it would mean that pipe shotguns would stop getting stronger at level 27 shotgun crafting, double barrels would stop getting stronger at level 60, and pump action shotguns would stop getting any stronger at level 80, with the idea being that as the most primitive tech is made a level 5, the more advanced tech is made a good level 3, and the most advanced tech is made available but extremely crude at level 1. And as the primitive tech becomes obsolete, the advanced tech is perfected at level 5, and then the most advanced tech is refined enough to be worth using, and then of course you would be able to craft the best level 5 auto shotgun at level 100, because why else would the skill go? Go to 100 if not to allow you to craft something better at level 100. If you could craft a level 5 auto shotgun at level 80, then why would the skill progress past 80 when all it controls is the crafting level of the shotgun? But again, big disclaimer, that is purely speculative based off of the two images and the post. But it does seem to be mostly the only logical way I could see this working. Speaking of the post, let's go back to that. It says that skill magazines can be bought, found, or received as quest rewards. So if you were concerned about it only coming from looting, you can rest assured that questing will still be by far the most efficient way to progress. It also says that the topic of the magazine matches the locations you would expect to find it in the world. Now it doesn't really clarify if this means like gun crates have a better chance to spawn gun magazines, or if it means you're more likely to find gun magazines in gun stores, just in general across all the loot. I imagine it's the first one based off of how the skill books which already exist work already. Now this is a really interesting change that the post says. Perks will now govern the probability of finding like themed magazines and parts for those recipes. Quote, Perk into shotguns and you will notice more shotgun themed magazines and shotgun parts in the world." Unquote. I like this, it means that you'll be able to influence your ability to craft things with their corresponding perk, it's just not directly tied to it. I also like the idea of finding more parts or the perks I've put points into, that was difficult to say, even if it doesn't make that much sense in real life. And finally, when you max out a skill, the probability bonus granted for finding the corresponding magazines drops off. Now, the magazines will still appear occasionally, but it will no longer be boosted by the perk. However, you will maintain the loot boost for finding more of the parts you want. Basically meaning that as you max out your crafting skill, you will start to find less of that book. But you will not start to find less of the parts. Which makes sense, and I really like that actually. It means that finding those shotgun parts will presumably be much easier because the game is actively putting the parts in front of you more often based off of the perks you're actually using. Before I move on to my final thoughts, let's take a look at those 23 crafting skills. Those are harvesting tools, which is a 1 to 100, which is presumably going to affect your shovels, axes, pickaxes, augers, and chainsaws. Repair tools, which is a 1 to 50, presumably affecting the stone axe, the hammer, and the nail gun. Salvage tools, Tools, which is a 1 to 75, which is for the wrench, the ratchet, and the impact driver. Knuckles, blades, clubs, sledgehammers, and spears. The five main melee classes, all of which max out at level 75. Bows, handguns, shotguns, rifles, machine guns, and explosives. The six main ranged classes, all max out at level 100. Robotics is interesting because it governs both batons and robotics. Interestingly though, there's no plasma baton here. I wonder if we might see that plasma baton added later, and a 24th baton skill added, separating the robotics crafting skill into robotics and batons, 
with batons presumably only having 75 skill levels like the other 5 melee classes. Armor is a 1 to 75 skill, thank god I can finally make better padded armor without having to invest a perk point into the light armor skill, I really like that actually. Medical is a 1 to 75, RIP the physician's main appeal. Food is a 1 to 100, Master Chef is now presumably exclusively a cooking speed perk, so RIP that perk as well except for maybe rank 4. And seeds 1 of 20 because as if farming wasn't annoying enough already, now you have to find 20 magazines. There's also Electrician, 1 of 100, rest in peace Advanced Engineering's secondary appeal. Traps, 1 of 75, rest in peace Advanced Engineering's tertiary appeal. Workstations, 1 of 75, RIP Advanced Engineering's main appeal. Presumably Advanced Engineering in the Intellect Tree would now exclusively increase smelting and crafting efficiency and trap XP gain. Via Vehicles 1 to 100, again, rip Grease Monkey, presumably Grease Monkey will now just affect the cost of the recipes, which is literally a bullet to the head for that perk. Which I'm fine with. I'm fine that these crafting changes kneecap the intellect tree. The intellect tree will still be the best mid-game tree in the game as long as Daring Adventurer and Better Barter are still as strong as they are in Alpha 20. In fact, decoupling intellect from crafting schematics is a nice change, but it will take a while to adjust to the fact that no, you can't just level intellect to level 10, get advanced engineering, physician and grease monkey to 5, and craft anything you could ever want. This also seems to slightly kneecap farming even more as now you have to find a certain amount of these magazines before you can even craft all the seeds. Seriously, what problem does the fun pimps have with farming? Did a farmer shoot their dog or something? Damn, leave agriculture alone for one minute fun pimps. Overall though, I think the learn by looting system is a pretty interesting compromise for those of us who wanted those 1 to 100 skills back without reintroducing exploits. And I definitely think it's going to have mixed reactions with one side loving the the new pacing and depth, with the other side maybe having a slight brain hemorrhage over what they would call an unnecessary change, which I do agree with, there are more important things to be fixed with the game. My opinion is, as I said, it's interesting, and I could see it working, and I could see it being really fun, or it could be absolutely miserable and bog down the game even more, and make me turn even more into the sweet, sweet embrace of trader rushing to just ignore crafting in its entirety. But I do have to admire the Fun Pimp's concrete coconuts for making such a drastic change to a key feature. Whether it's a good change, only time can really tell. What about you? Does this change scratch the itch of a more in-depth crafting system? Does it seem like unnecessary complication of an already functional and accepted system? Are you going to make the obvious joke about it evolving just backwards? Are you going to leave me a 12 paragraph essay? Could you maybe not? I'm not your high school teacher. Did a farmer kill your dog and give you an undying hatred of the agriculture industry like someone at the Fun Pimps has clearly got? Let us know down in the comments and of course if you want to stay up to date with 7 Days to Die news, hit that big red button unless you happen to be a world leader, in which case press the red button on the screen, not the one with the glass case and the funny little key. Thank you to my channel members for making these videos possible and thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.